Hey, it's Mark Riddell here at M3 Networks. We're just going to show you a live ransomware demonstration here. Something that we talk about a lot on our social media, but not a lot of people have actually seen uh, how that actually happens to a machine, how quickly it can happen. So here we've got a user just browsing through the lovely cat and dog photographs on their computer. We're just going to make a quick edit to one of these photos and just apply a filter and save that just so you can see that everything's working fine at the moment. Now the user is going to go into their email and they've got an email from IT support here uh, prompting them to upgrade the latest patch from Microsoft and they have a nice dodgy looking link there that they're going to click on and they're going to follow the instructions to extract the software from the zip file and then run it, if possible, with admin rights. So we get to the website, we click to download the file. We're going to save the file and then open the folder. And then we're going to follow the instructions for the right click and extract all. And then we're going to right click and run as administrator. Okay, so nothing seemed to happen there. Uh, we ran the file, um, the file disappeared, um, and now we are back browsing our um, cat and dog photographs. Now, here you can notice that it takes a little bit longer to open the file, but eventually the file does still open. So cute. And there's the photograph that we made with the edit. Um, now, we've got a file here we want to download from OneDrive. That's a little bit strange. Um, and now, when we go back to open our files, suddenly the computer doesn't seem to support that format. And now we're starting to get some Windows command prompts um, popping up. Um, want to run things. Um, OneDrive seems to have kicked us out and want us to log back in again. So we're going to go ahead and enter the password. Now this is all happening in real time so you can see how quickly um, this infection is going to take hold of this machine. Okay, it's got some man prompts jumping up and running things and then disappearing quickly. Um, now you can see here, now this photo will still load. But when we jump into our OneDrive, you can clearly see uh, the Ryuk files and uh, the, the README there. Now, Ryuk is quite an old ransom, we've been around for about four years now. Um, this is the, um, the encrypted notepad file. I keep getting bothered by these command pop ups. You can see links to uh, dodgy files it's trying to run. Saying that our machine is encrypted. Um, backups are encrypted or deleted, um, we have to decrypt it, you know, do not restart, shut down, rename, remove, don't try and do anything, um, and to decrypt your files please contact us and they've given a, a Bitcoin uh, wallet address uh, here. Um, so this machine is completely infected now by you know, Ryuk ransomware, Ryuk, no system is safe. So here's an example of what would happen in the same scenario for M3 Networks customers that have our um, ESET endpoint security product installed. So again we've got the same dodgy email here that the user is going to click on. And the minute they click on the file download and they want to try and save it, 
um, ESET is going to pop up and detect that threat and remove that threat with no intervention from the user required. If you jump into the downloads folder, you'll see that the file name is there for, but uh, as a zero kilobytes uh, file size, which means it didn't actually download any data. So that's how being a client of M3 Networks can help protect your machine from ransomware. Um, if you liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give it a like. Thank you very much.